Okay, let's have example number 6. Consider the function f of x equals the absolute value of x minus 2 at x equals 2. Okay, so again, let's see if this is continuous x equals 2. Okay, again, let's have the conditions. So we have f of c must be defined. So ano bang f of c natin? In here, our c is equal to 2. So we will just Substitute our 2 or substitute the 2 to all the x. So we have the absolute value of 2 minus 2, which is equal to the absolute value of 0, which is 0. Okay, so let's have the second condition the limit of our f of x as x approaches c must exist. Okay. And we're going to show our limit, our left-hand limit. So we have the limit of the absolute value x minus 2 as x approaches to 2 from the left. So ano nga ba ang ating pong limit? So as you can see, we let in substitute ito. So we have... 2 minus 2, that would become 0. And our limit of the absolute value x minus 2 as x approaches to 2 from the right is also 2 minus 2, which is equal to 0. That means our f of c is equal to the limit our function as x approaches c. Kasi ang f of c natin is 0. Ito po. And our limit is also 0. That means, we could say that therefore, the function f of x equals the absolute value of x minus 2 is continuous. at x equals to 2. Okay? So, ngayon, tignan natin kung differentiable ba ito. So, gagawin natin, we have to show that our left-hand derivative is equal to our right-hand derivative. Okay? So, for our left-hand derivative, we have f prime of x is equal to the limit of x minus 2 I'm oh, sorry the limit of f of x plus delta x minus f of x all over delta x as delta x approaches to 0 so we will get the limit of our f of x plus delta x is limit of the absolute value. So, babaguhin natin yung x. Gagawin natin x plus delta x. So, we have x plus delta x. And then, meron pang minus 2. Natin kalimutan. Minus 2. Then, minus our uh, our original function yun, yung absolute value of x minus 2 all over delta x as delta x approaches to 0 alright so now since our given no, since given yung ating value so we can substitute the limit of absolute value of 2 plus delta x minus 2 minus so this will become 2 minus 2 all over delta x as delta x approaches to 0 so we we have okay 2 minus 2 is 0 2 minus 2 is 0 
So what is left is yung meron pong delta x. So we have delta x or absolute value of delta x divided by delta x as delta x approaches to 0. Kinakalimutan natin yung sign from the left. Hindi natin kalimutan yan. Okay? So, kung ito ay left hand derivative, alam natin na dapat hindi exclude natin na yung delta x dapat hindi equal to 0. Kasi kung mag-equal to 0 yan, we will have 0 over 0 which is indeterminate, no? Kaya, ang mangyayari, kailangan na exclude natin yung delta x approach uh, delta x mag equal to 0. So, ano lang ang gagawin natin? Dapat ang ating pong function ay magiging or yung ating pong Masabi natin yung ating absolute value ng delta x ay dapat doon lang tayo sa delta x yung positive value delta x is greater than 0 and yung ating negative delta x kapag yung ating delta x is less than 0 okay so, in here, kung siyempre sa left hand tayo, eh, ito gagamitin natin. So, we have the limit of negative delta x over delta x as delta x approaches to 0. Which is actually equal to, okay, makakansin ma natin to this would be equal to negative 1 or I mean to 1 I said delta x divided by delta x is 1 so we will get negative 1 in this case and for the right hand derivative naman actually parehas lang to ang magiging kaibahan lang ay yung ating yung ating pong limit limit of The absolute value x, delta x over delta x. As delta x approaches to 0 from the right. Yan, ang kalimutan. This is from the right. Okay, again, since meron na tayo itong piecewise function, kukupihin lang natin dito yung ating um, delta x. Kasi nga, kapag delta x greater than 0, ito daw po yung ating pong function. Kaya magiging limit of delta x divided by delta x as delta x approaches to 0 is actually equal to 1. Kasi we can divide this and we will get the limit of 1 is also 1. Okay? Same thing, no? Na nangyari doon sa ating example number 5. Gaito rin yung nakita natin. Na yung left-hand derivative natin at right-hand derivative is not equal to each other. Okay? So, tignan natin yung graph. So, we have y equals the absolute value of 
x minus 2 okay so ito siya so mapapansin ninyo continuous ang ating function no pero dahil nga mayroon tayong corner ibig sabihin that is not differentiable so again kapag yung ating graph ay meron pong corner that means hindi po differentiable ang ating pong function pwede siya maging continuous pero hindi po siya differentiable so we could say that Therefore, the function or since the left-hand derivative is not equal to the right-hand derivative, then the function f of x equals absolute value of x minus 2 is not differentiable. Okay, that's it.